Hey, how's it going? This is our pool up on the 37th floor. It's not huge. It's a nice place to do some laps. And then we also have a co-working space on the right, but I'm going to hit the small gym at the end of the hallway there. It's kind of important, especially when you're retired, moving over to Bangkok. Even if you're not a gym person, I'm not a huge gym guy. I'm lucky twice a week. I try for three or four times a week. But it's really important uh, when you're retired to not get too lazy. Here's the co-working space. I don't normally come up here, but the apartments are small if you want to have a nice office table and a, a nice view. It's a good place to work, free Wi-Fi. We have a little Muay Thai ring. And then some nice machines, dumbbells. All right, quick workout complete. No big deal, like 40 minutes. Got on the bike for 20, 25 minutes, hit the dumbbells. Bunch of sit-ups. Try to balance out that retirement beer. I don't drink that much but you do drink a lot more than uh, when you're working, especially in a city like Bangkok. It's real easy to be out five nights a week, and even if you only drink a couple of beers, you know, five, six times a week, that'll add up. Here's our little lounge or common area up on the, I think it's the 38th floor. The blinds are down, but that's a nice city view. And then there's a kind of a gourmet kitchen you can rent out for parties. And there's a smoking patio out here. You're not supposed to smoke in the units. So here's a smoking patio, pool table, and a nice cocktail bar area. Again, I think you can rent this whole common area for parties or people will just come up here, you know, a group of, of five or six, hang out, no problem. But if you want to have some kind of a, I don't know, like a wedding party or a big birthday celebration, 30, 40 people, yeah, just give uh, management a little bit of notice and see what the price is. I, I doubt if it's $30. Well, I guess it's a little bit more than I thought. It's a thousand baht per hour. So that is uh, 26, $27 or 7,000 baht for the entire day. Still, not bad compared to many places you'd rent out in the United States. They're going to cost a lot more than that. All right, I got my uh, little gym in for the day, and now I'm out uh, walking around now that it cooled off. I think I only have about 45 minutes of daylight left, but I'm in Ekamai. This is Soy 42. I did a video on 42 and 44, and there's a, uh, this is the Gateway Shopping Center, kind of a smaller shopping center, a lot of Japanese restaurants, a lot of Japanese expats in this Ekamai area. They love it. The main drag in Ekamai is on the other side of the BTS, Soy 63, I believe. All That's going to have to be in the daytime because it'll take me an hour to walk up 63. But I'm going to head over to the other side, so probably 65, 67, something like that. Go look around these smaller streets in Ekamai. Right across the street from Gateway is this uh, beautiful temple, or Wat next to the Sucumbent Hospital. And across the street at Gateway, I know they have, I think it's called Gourmet Foods. Pretty nice little uh, medium-sized grocery store. And over this way, where that big building is on the other side, would be the main drag. So way, I believe it's 63 here in Ekamai. But we're gonna head off this direction, see what kind of uh, smaller buildings we have in uh, these smaller soys over here. There's also a home pro. Oh, here goes the, uh, that's the bus to Pattaya for less than $2 or $2.50. There's a home pro, I did a video on that. That is the Home Depot of Thailand. You'll find everything in there from tools, electrical needs to small appliances. Here's the Sukhumvit Hospital. I'm not sure, I don't think it's a private hospital. I know my friend, she's Thai and she goes there. Now she says she receives excellent care there, but yes, she said as an expat, Bumran Grand, if I'm pronouncing it right, Bumran Grand, where I go, um, that's more geared towards the expats. It's a private hospital. It's gonna cost more, but it's uh, super affordable with my American Blue Cross insurance. And the Ekamai BTS is a block, block and a half down there. That watt takes up almost a, a whole block and the succumbent hospital takes up another block 
So we really haven't uh, got another side soy besides those two. Now on the right side over here is a driving range. I don't know if it came out yet, but I did a video on the Ekamai driving range if you're into uh, golf. Here on Sucumbent, about, uh, I don't know, 500 feet from the Sucumbent Hospital is the loss. Looks like a nice property. Art a la carte restaurant. The Mulberry Grove. And whatever this next soy is, it's probably 65 or 67. Here's a walkway that goes right over to the uh, driving range. You can see the fence. All right, so it was uh, Sucumbent Soy 65, and here's a little 545 traffic to get a reference the stoplight is maybe two blocks from here and this is the driving range so we'll take a look down down 65 right on the corner is the uh, Mazda dealership now here's a smaller smaller building just off Sucumbit on 65 the names in Thai this is a Pretty busy little walkway though, especially when a car is coming in either direction. No real sidewalk, so you'd have to be uh, careful during busy busy times. Chaya Pruk Machin looks uh, looks a little uh, weathered, and it comes uh, complete with pet cats. Some cool little alleyways, and uh, there might be some hidden gems tucked away back there, but it's definitely uh, very Thai compared to the fancy, fancy areas of Akamai on, say, Soy 63. So I'm about two blocks in now from Sucumbit, and, and it's pretty much, other than the mansion there, it's all Thai-style buildings, these three-story walk-ups with a business below. It looks like there's a large complex. Is that yellow or mustard color at the end? I've seen the uh, bus racing people up and down the street to the BTS. I've said it before and I'll say it again, even, even amongst the super Thai areas, like this little soy, it's super clean. It's going on 6 p.m. and it's quiet. I mean, there's not a lot of cooking going on right under your, your window. But if you could get an apartment up on the, usually it's like the top two floors is a single apartment. You can get something like that at a killer deal in an, a really nice area like Ekamai. Those are just uh, secret secret spots. Have your own little private rooftop, and this this little area just seems super well maintained. But you're not going to have a swimming pool or a gym, and you might have a tailor shop or whatever on the bottom floor. And and these Thai people don't knock off work at five o'clock. I mean, they'll be down there working late into the evening. Just across the way, comparing this soy to the one we just looked at, it's it's just a night and day difference. And if you need a lot of space and money's not a, as big an issue, you can also find these uh, townhomes and small homes here right in the middle of the city. This looks re renovated and ready to go. I think it says it's 376 square meters. Doesn't have a price. And Chayapruk, Chayapruk Place. This is the nicest building on the soy so far. They actually look like uh, very large units. Quite a ways down 65 though. You need to go all the way down to the right and then you still need to go two blocks to get to the uh, BTS. Unless there's a shortcut through here to get to say the hospital. So we've taken another turn. We're still on 65, but there's not a whole bunch down here. Even though you're not far from the train, I wouldn't I wouldn't come back here. The uh, the road is just gnarly with two cars of traffic and zero sidewalk. It's really set up to uh, have a motorbike or, or a car. And so Cumbit's down here. We came like this on 65, and now we're gonna head up this street. Uh, Soy Chayaprak. Sure, I'm pronouncing that wrong, and uh, looks like there's some small buildings here. And here's the uh, penthouse condominium three. 
some smaller buildings and, and homes tucked away back here. You might find uh, something nice. This is uh, just looks like four gigantic units behind a private gate. There seems to be a bunch of those back here. I wouldn't call this a condo building. I think it's uh, just a big fourplex. Now here's the D65. This looks like an older building, but that might equal larger apartments. D65 is actually a couple of towers. I see two more tucked away back here. I'm also sitting at a motorbike stand. So that tells me uh, these motorbikes are racing people back to the BTS and Sucumbent. If, if there were a shortcut up here, that may or may not be the case. Some of these older Thai houses, they just have so much character. They're really cool, but um, I, it's just not worth it to me anyhow to rent all that space. It's still going to come at a price in the heart of Bangkok. But then again, who knows if these units are split into two apartments, you might, uh, you might have a great find on your hands. The residence, Sucumbent 65, it just looks like maybe eight units. And I'm guessing these are large units. You park your car under and walk up. Probably the, all three floors are the same unit. A couple of more of uh, that same style appear to be tucked away down this street. I'm, I'm running out of daylight or I'd go check it out. You just need to get out and explore in a neighborhood you like and decide if it's... Uh, a close enough distance to the train for you. Click condo on 65. Looks a little boxy, but I'll get around on the other side. Now they definitely have a little uh, tuk-tuk sitting there for the BTS. And across the street here is the District 8. Kind of a cool looking building, maybe, I don't know, loft style big tall windows and I see some uh, staircases there's the district gate and over here this is the penthouse condominium 2 I think we uh, already went past the other penthouse condominium one or three and there looks to be uh, three-story walk-ups down this little side soy those look like uh, beautiful units And we have this elevator parking in my building, but it's attached to the building. This seems to be a separate structure, maybe for that building there. I don't know. Looks like they built the elevator parking uh, afterwards. So to recap, way at the end of that street, if you take a right, you go almost the same distance, maybe even a little bit further to Sucumbit. Then you need to backtrack to get to the train. The train's actually right over here. I just don't think there's any way to get over there and again you got to watch these uh these little narrow streets when two cars or even a car and a motorbike are coming and going if you happen to be right around that corner you can see people have just drove up and over that bump yeah this section of 65 if we're even still on 65 i'm so far back and twisted and turned around that this is definitely made for living in a home back here and having a car at the very least a motorbike if uh, you're an expat like me on foot power, this is just way too far. The only reason I'm even doing it is to see where it pops out. Again, all just private residences, but I'm committed now. <laughs> if I go backwards, uh, I've got a really long walk and I have a feeling I'm gonna maybe pop out on 63, I'm not sure. And every car in the driveway here appears to be a, a BMW or a Mercedes with a 300% import fee That'll, that'll tell you what kind of uh, price this Ekamai area is. Now see, this is what I'm talking about with, uh, with walking down these streets. It's not a real issue to me, but some people might be very uncomfortable. And it just keeps going. I'm not sure what I got myself into, but this is definitely uh, a house area. Now here's the pity place. Looks like an older condominium. Jeez condominium building back here yeah I I just uh, I really just don't like this this street set up there's no reason to live way back here on 65 unless you can find one of those hidden gems up near Sucumbent unless you have a car 
there's there's no reason to be uh, walking around back here especially in the rain and the heat it's a long walk well I can officially confirm there's no real way to sneak back over to Sucumbent I was hoping maybe that hospital or something Sucumbent's more ooh it's like two blocks that way now I've winded all over 65 and I'm I'm still heading inland another smaller condo building I I like it back here don't get me wrong it's just uh I'm trying to make these videos for convenient areas close to the train and this is uh not close to the train doesn't have any kind of sidewalk it's just uh would be a hassle to be back here without a, a motorbike or car and that's probably the last thing you need when you're you're first moving over here it's just so much easier to get around on the train and on the back of motorbikes. I don't mind the exploring one bit. I'm just out for a walk and I would have I would have never had a reason to be back here. So I like walking around and, and checking it out. If uh, you're finding these looks at Bangkok interesting, maybe not so much Soy 65, but consider subscribing. I'll be making more videos in Bangkok, Thailand, all over Southeast Asia. Now here's an older building, the Green View, Ekamai 10. Now this is some Tijuana style right here, putting the broken bottles right in the wet cement. Effective security measures. Now here's the Holiday House, Dog Social Club and Hotel. Must be uh, good money in it with that portion of the driveway. Definitely some nice homes back here. And other than motorbikes, there's very quiet back here for the middle of Bangkok. And here's the Bon Ekamai condos. And we have to be getting closer to Soy 63, so I, I'm not even sure if I'm still on Soy 65. And there's a nice building up this little side Soy. I have no idea where I'm at. I, I was hoping 63 was going to be up here, but I was twisted around so much, 63 might be over here somewhere. Well, I'm just gonna keep walking and find out. All right, this site says 263, so I sure hope I'm getting close. Because this was a long walk back here. And again, no, uh, no sidewalks to speak of here. And this says 10 Ekamai. I'm guessing I'm on Soy 10 Ekamai off of 63. I must have just wrapped around in a big, huge U and came back over to 63. And I think that says the NS residence. It's like two towers. This looks like a sharp building, the Destiny on 63. Ekamai, Tonglor, they are no joke when it comes to high priced buildings and, and rents. This building, I'll find out what it is when I walk up to it. Those balconies are the size of uh, my condo and that's gonna come at a hefty price. It's the Cascade building, and if you're living in this building, you probably not only have a car, you might have a car and a driver. So my problem of uh, no sidewalk is not gonna be your problem. It says Annabelle's early years. If I'd had to have to guess, it's a daycare. And the Cha Cha Ann Japanese restaurant. There's another beautiful, beautiful building we'll walk up to. This is the, is that cow? Authentic Thai cuisine with a chef's table. Definitely a upper scale Thai restaurant. And this Toyota van is an example of when I say a car and a driver. If you have money over here, you those Toyota vans are basically tricked out like limousines. And you'll just have a couple of drivers on call to take you all around the city and not have to deal with this Bangkok traffic. So that beautiful building is the Royal Kensington Mansion. And that has to be Soy 63 up ahead. If you're interested in paying several thousands of dollars, there's the phone number, one, two, and three bedrooms. Okay, that was a long walk and we've popped out at the Healthland. That's a real fancy massage center you'll find them all over town and on this side is the Ekamai shopping mall here's the cassette music bar a place called cheeks 
I think it's actually Muay Thai though. And the Tiger Ekamai. It's not even 6.30 p.m. These places will, they'll get busier into the evening. Just a nice little area of a lot of little uh, bars and small restaurants. And this is Busy Soy 63. I'm gonna make a separate video. 63 is a very important street. A lot of uh, nice condos. I think that's the rhythm. It is, Rhythm Ekamai Estate, I think it says. I think this is a coffee place, but that's a nice looking building. Probably closes up after lunch. So that was a long look at Soy 65. Not a whole lot on 65 other than uh, private residences. I, I walked all the way on 65 until I'm I'm almost positive this is soy 63 Ekamai Sukumbit 63 and this is soy 10 so soy 10 merged into 65 at some point and that was a, a long long walk and even where I'm at to get back to the BTS is ooh over six blocks again I'm gonna do a separate uh, video on 63 there's so much to see but Thanks for checking out my video on uh, Soy 65 and uh, look around Bangkok.